Hello everyone and welcome to my video doing an overview of my A to Z notebook. Apologies in advance to any um, American visitors to this video. Um, you might already know, but in I'm from Britain or England and we say Z instead of Z. So just to clarify that right off the bat, I will be saying A to Z a lot. So I got the idea to do this template from um, on, on my Facebook page, Remarkable Tips, Templates and Accessories. I'll actually leave a link to that in description if you're interested in various tips and guidance uh, and a community for people who uh, like using the Remarkable and sharing ideas. A number of people have asked for an A to Z notebook that's fully hyperlinked and it's not something um, that I've actually created before, so I decided to go ahead and use my classic style and create the A to Z notebook. Now, this won't be a long video, just a, by way of a quick overview. Um, this is the title page, and as you can see down the right-hand side here, we have A to Z, all fully hyperlinked tabs. Now, they are quite small, but they are, um, I've done the hyperlink to a good size, so it's actually quite easy to go where you want to go. So right now, I want to go to K, and you'll see, comes up with K, S, and I'm standing uh, like quite far away behind my camera and I can quite easily get to where I want to go. So don't worry about the tabs being fairly small. They're still very user-friendly. Um, so that is the basic concept. You have a notebook um, that goes from A to Z. And when you go into each letter, you are greeted with an index. So A index, B index, C index, and so on. Within each index, you have a number of lines where you can input details and you have a hyperlink to a dedicated note section. So in this example, here I've tried to create almost like a bit of a client notebook. So in the details section, I've put the name of the company. And if you go ahead and select any of these numbers, they are also hyperlinked as well as the letters. So you can go ahead, click the hyperlink there, and it takes you to a dedicated notes page where you have lined, um, essentially kind of like an A4 style lined notes page with a margin. And the, the great thing about this template really is that um, whether you need one lined notes page or 20 lined notes pages, you can create it however you want. So let's say, let's go back into our B index and I'm wanting to do something for Beam Co. Going to number three, we've got a blank notes page, but I actually know for this client, uh, there's quite a lot of information I'm gonna to need to get down. So I'm gonna create some extra pages. Now, uh, just for example sake, I'm just gonna do a star here. Not a very good one. Um, normally it would be blank, but just to show you how it um, duplicates. So for those who don't know how to duplicate, you click into your tool menu, click into the, um, I'm not sure what this is called. It brings up all the pages in an icon. So there's the page here related to this client and we want to duplicate that. And what you will find is, you can see it's duplicated there, but what you'll find is if we go back into uh, our index and into Beamco, when it's duplicated, it's automatically put in the correct place. So page 17, page, da, 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 it's gonna show you there, page 16. So if you need um, a number of pages, you go into this menu and you just duplicate that page as many times as you want. So whether you want one, five, 10 or 20, you can do it and it doesn't, the best part is it doesn't affect the hyperlinks at all. So you can do it as many times as you want and the hyperlinks from A to Z and one to 10 will still stay intact. So if I click number four, it's not gonna affect the integrity of this hyperlink. So a good thing to know, you can have as many pages as you like. So just to cover off a, a couple of additional tips. So there's only so much you can post on an Etsy advert, but I wanna give you some ideas of how you can get the best out of this template. So for those who have used one of mine before, I always try design them 
with adaptability in mind that can be done on the Remarkable. You don't have to do it editing PDFs or doing uh, complicated things on your computer. So let's say you are working in sales and you actually want a bit more detail on this index. Um, go ahead, grab uh, any pen you want that comes with the white color. I use the fine liner. So we're gonna take the details out, just scribble over it um, like that. I've already prepared this section earlier, but draw a straight line to then create three columns we now have. For those who don't know how to do it, you just draw a line, hold it down, and it automatically, <laughs> hasn't worked for me there, automatically should become straight like that. Then you can move it around and do what you want with it. So you can create three columns, as many as you'd like, really. So here, uh, as I, let's say I work in sales, I will do client name, and then I'm going to do contact details. So you might have your client name there, contact details there, and then the notes from the actual client meeting here, what you've discussed. Um, any critical details you can input and again, have as many pages as you want. So whilst I've um, designed it out of the box to have just a blank section here named details, you can completely customize that, create as many columns as you want and you still have your hyperlinks and go to your line notes pages. And what I just wanna finish off um, with without taking up too much of your time is just to explain that whilst you might buy it for a specific purpose, this A to Z notebook style is incredibly adaptable. So you might buy it to use at work, but you can easily just go ahead, grab the blank copy that you download, hold your finger down on it, duplicate it, and there you've got two notebooks and you might use this one for your work client notes, this one as an address book. You might duplicate it again, use it as a password tracker and the A to Z could be for the specific website and you can log it that way. It might be that you want to do anything from book reviews using the title of the book. You can do so many things with the standard um, A to Z notebook. Um, and I would say is whilst this is in incredibly, uh, um, I think quite user friendly, um, what I wanna get across is it's really quite versatile as well. And you can use it for a number of reasons and purposes just by duplicating it as many times as you want. So I think I've explained probably enough there. As ever, please do leave a comment if you have any questions or if anything's unclear. I'll leave the link to this uh, template in the description and to my Facebook group if you have any further questions or want any further guidance, tips, uh, free templates and a community you can get involved on there. I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching. Take care.